Hey everybody, it's uh, Robert here again for Stratomatic Replay, and uh, trying to catch up a little bit on Major League Baseball. And uh, tonight I picked up the 1904 Major League Baseball season, so I thought I'd present a game from that season. Now, the 1904 season is actually pretty special in that because there was no World Series that year, okay, and there was, and the thing about that was that there was some issues that was going on, and right now you're looking at your screen and looking at Wikipedia, and I'll scroll, I'll scroll down a little bit here, and uh, when that postseason was held, I guess they had still some issues, uh, you know, for contracts and such, but you also take a look at the final standings of uh, the um, of that season, and you'll see that the Boston Americans won the American League, and the New York Giants won the National League. And the key players of that was uh, players such as Nap LaJoy, uh, Jack Chesbro, uh, of course, Honus Wagner, Joe McGinnity, and uh, Cy Young threw a no-hitter that year, so did uh, Bob Witts, Jesse Tan. And you see some like May 30th, Frank Chance, the Chicago Cubs got hit by a pitch. This is on Wikipedia. You can check it out yourself. But the reason why I'm do, I'm, I went here is because since there was no postseason, I thought for tonight's replay, I would go ahead and do a, shall we say, World Series game between the two teams that won the pennant that year. And that would be the Boston Americans and the New York Giants. So I didn't actually uh, play an entire World Series. I'm just going to play one game. And uh, we're going to say this is Game 7 of the 1904 Major League Baseball World Series. The Giants and Americans are tied at three games apiece. And uh, Boston has to go to New York for a crucial Game 7. So uh, let's get right to it. So I'll click on this and uh, get us out of here. And we go to the ball game. Welcome to uh, the Polo Grounds, where unfortunately it's listed as a bad day. So that means that uh, singles are going to be down a little bit and the home runs are going to be are not going to be as plentiful. And, of course, what do we know about Polo Grounds? It really was never designed for baseball. Uh, it was, of course, designed for polo. But uh, as far as I can remember, I don't, think, I don't think polo was ever held at this place. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, basically, with, uh, you know, we had like 279 down the lines and over... 400 feet deep to center. Basically, a fly ball was a home run, and a home run was an out. Peanuts, peanuts, get your peanuts here. So uh, we're going to do a game, a simulated Game 7 of the 1904 World Series between the Boston Americans and the New York Giants. And we're going to have, of course, the two best pitchers on, and that's got to be Christy Mathewson for uh, the uh, Giants, and, of course, it's going to be Cy Young for the Boston Americans. So let's get right to it. Let's go to the first uh, pitch. It'll be Kip Selbach uh, leading off. And we'll see when he starts up with a fly ball to Brown in right field. Oh, he can't make the play. So the game starts with a two-base error by Brown. And it looks like the Americans will get an early runner on second base. It'll bring up Candy Lachance. Remember him from last, uh, from the 1903 uh, game I did. And there's a fly ball to right. Brown this time will make the play. One down. Here's Freddie Parent. And it's a passed ball on Warner. So Selbach's going to go to third. Um, and uh, I'm playing the uh, New York Giants. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, um, let's see, I'm going to bring in the infield, uh, bring the infield in and try to prevent that run to go. Yeah, here's Parent. And it's a pop fly ball to third. And now there are two away, and now Buck Freeman will uh, come up the bat. And that's a clean base hit. So Freeman comes in through with some clutch. Selbach scores from third, and the Boston Americans take an early 1-0 lead. Jimmy Collins at the plate. And he hits a fly ball to Bresnahan in center. And he couldn't get to it, and this is going to be a triple. So... Uh, because of an error that uh, base, an error that was made by Brown, which should have been an out, Boston scores two quick runs. Uh, Collins is going to go to third, and Chick Stahl is going to be the batter for the Americans. And this time, Matheson gets the uh, strikeout. So we go to the bottom half of the first, a two nothing lead for the Americans, and let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at Cy Young here. 
take a look at Cy Young in 1904. 26 wins, 16 losses, a 1.97 ERA. Uh, imagine how much that would be worth in today's money. We'll take a look at Christy Mathewson in the next inning. Uh, Art Devlin will lead off for the Giants. And the split cards come up a double, so the Giants get their leadoff runner at second base in Devlin, and Bill Dalen will uh, come up with that. And he walks, so runners at first and second, so Cy Young sees himself in a little bit of trouble here. Dan McGann will come up to bat. And there is a base hit to center field, and we're going to send the lead runner. And they're going to cut the throw off, so just like that, the Giants get the run back. And now Roger Bresnahan will uh, come up to bat. And there's a ground out to a second. That's going to be a double play. Runner moves to third. And now George Brown will come up. And there's a strikeout by Cy Young. So at the end of one, it's the Boston Americans two and the New York Giants one. Here at the Polo Grounds, we'll go in the top of the second. Let's have a look at uh, Christy Matthewson in 1904. 33 wins, 12 losses, a 2.03 ERA. Uh, you are kidding, right? 33 wins? Only a, they only gave up an average of two runs a game? Where are all these, how come pitching is so much different, you know, back then than it is now? Uh, maybe because these pitchers are, are just going whole games. I mean, they're easily, the, I mean, Christy Matthews was the kind of pitcher that he could pitch today and either just take one day off and he'd be ready for the next game. I mean, there, that was the day back then. That was the, that was how pitching went during the dead ball era of, uh, in classic baseball. And since I'm basically choosing a game to do a replay, one se one game per season as we move forward through baseball history. And yes, I intend to go all the way to uh, 2016. So there's going to be lots of replays to do, and uh, I might even do a few extras in the in the um, in the future. Uh, Hobie Ferris will lead off here in the top of the second. And there's a line drive to Devlin at third. He'll make the play one out. Here's Duke Farrell. And he lines to Devlin at third. There's the second out. And now Cy Young will bat. And we got a split card coming up. And that's going to be a ground out to third. And so three straight balls hit to the third baseman and makes three straight outs. Bottom of the second. And uh, here's, uh, here's, uh, here's uh, Sam Murtis. And Sam Murtis grounds out to Lachance at first. One down. Billy Gilbert will come up to bat. And there we got a clean base hit. So a base hit. Gilbert goes on to first. Let's have a look at uh, Gilbert and see. Is he a stealing threat? Oh, yeah. Double A? Sure. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to put the... Um, we're going to try to steal. And he attempts to steal. He can't get the lead. So now it's a 45% chance. We're not going to attempt. And we're going to let John Water. Let's see if John Water can hit and run. Is he capable of hit and run B? That's not too bad. Uh... Let's try let's try a little hit and run, shall we? So let's go to hit and run, and let's see what happens. Hit and run is on. It's a pop out to second baseman, so there is nothing doing. So that'll bring up uh, Matthewson. He will bat, and he grounds out to short, and that ends the inning. We go to the third, still two one, and this is a uh, basically a game seven of the 1904 World Series between the Boston Americans and the New York Giants. There was not a World Series played back then, so we're playing a de facto Game 7. Kip Selbach will lead off for uh, Boston, and he gets struck out by Matthewson. And here's Candy Lachance. Lachance lines out to Gilbert at second, and now Freddie Parent will come up. And he grounds out to uh, shortstop to Parent, or shortstop. We go to the bottom of the third, three up, three down. Cy Young at, on the mound, Devlin to bat. And split cards come up a seven, and that's a ground ball to Collins. He will throw over to first for the out, and that will bring up Bill Dalen to bat. And that's a walk. So Dalen, Dalen will go to first. See what he's capable of doing. Uh, definitely a threat to steal. Let's see if he can. Let's see if uh, he can get the lead here. Let's see if. Uh, let's see if he can uh, get the lead. Attempt to steal. He can't get the lead. We won't attempt. What about Dan McGann? Is he a Hit and runner. Let's see if he can get the hit and run on. Let's try the hit and run. Hit and run is on. And it's a grounder to Parent. And Parent is the runner the runner held effect is on. So that means that he can't make the play. 
and we're going to have runners at first and second with still one out, and Bresnahan will bat. So it looks like the Giants are something brewing. Let's see what they got. And there's a double. Uh, drives the ball to center for extra bases. Dalen will score, and yes, we will send the lead runner. They're going to cut the throw and allow the run to score. So on that big double by by uh, by Bresnahan, he will go to second, and the New York Giants take a 3-2 lead. And here's George Brown coming up, but still a runner on second base and one out. He grounds out to short, which moves Bresnahan to third. And now Sam Mertis will come up to bat, and he flies out to uh, left field. So at the end of three, it's New York three, Boston two. And we go to the fourth. Christy Mathewson still on the mound. And Buck Freeman leads off for the Americans. And that is a fly ball to right. And this time, Brown will make the catch. One down. Jimmy Collins will bat. And he struck him out. So two down. And now here's Chick Stahl. And there's a ground out to Gilbert. He'll throw over to first and get the out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Let's see what uh, Gilbert does. He makes the last play. Now he'll come up to bat first in the uh, bottom of the inning. And he lines out right to Lachance. One down. John Warner will come up. And he pop flies it, pops it high in the air. Parent is going to make the catch on this. Two down. And now it's Matthewson. And he hits a grounder to Parent at short. And Parent is going to make the play. He'll throw over to first. And the side retired. So a three up and three down there. And we go to the fifth inning. Matthewson still on the mound. And Hobie Ferris will lead it off for the Boston Americans. Strikeout. Matthewson gets the play. And now Duke Farrell will come up to bat. And split card coming up. It's a 10. Line out to first base. And there's now two down. And now this is what you would love to see in today's. Wouldn't you just love to see... The Christy Mathewson, baseball legend, versus Cy Young at the plate, baseball legend. Where is classic baseball these days? Uh, Young pops one out and uh, retires a side. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Here is Art Devlin to lead off for the Giants. And that is a single to center field. Devlin will go to first. Bill Dalen is the batter. And let's see. Or would you wanna, let's, uh, let's try the hit and run again. Hit and run is on. It's a force play to shortstop. The runner on first is out. So Devlin will now, so Dolan takes over. So the hit and run failed to move him over. So now we'll see what we do with Dan McGann. We'll let him bat. And that's a fly ball to right. Freeman will make the catch. Two down. And now Roger Bresnahan will come up. And split cards come in. And he line drives right out to third. So, five innings in the books in this Game 7 of the 1904 World Series. 3-2 still leads by the New York Giants. Christy Mathewson will now go into his sixth inning. Selbach will lead off for the Americans. And this is going to be a base hit. So, a base hit for Selbach. He'll go to first. And Candy Lachance will bat. We will hold the runner. He can't get the lead. And this is going to be a base hit for Lachance. And we're going to we're going to stop the other run from Vance. We have no chance to get Selbach. He's on he's on third with no problem. So runners at first and third with nobody out. So now Matthewson's in a little bit of a, a little bit of a jam. And the infield is in, brought in by the uh by the AI, and I agree with that. Parent is the batter. And this one is going to be a sack fly to center. And Bresnahan will make the catch, but there's no way they're going to get the runner at third. That's a score. We're tied at three. Lachance stays at first, and Buck Freeman will bat. The hit and run is on. It's a ground out to first. They get the play, but Lachance does move into scoring position. And now Jimmy Collins will bat. And uh, let's see here. You got, so you got Collins and you got Stahl. I was almost thinking of maybe... Maybe doing um, intentional walk, but I think, I th and he's righty against righty. I think I'll let Collins bat. So let's go. Oh, who's pitched to him? 
And a split card up, but it's a long fly ball to right. But this is going to be a clean fly out. So the Americans only get one run. It's tied at three, bottom of the sixth. Cy Young still on the mound for the Americans. George Brown will lead it off. And there's a fly ball to right field. Freeman makes the catch. One down. Here's Sam Murties. And Murties grounds out to Lachance at first. And now Billy Gilbert will come up. And there's a ground ball to Parent, who throws over to first. Three up and three down. So it's Boston three, New York three. We're in the we go to the seventh inning in this tight game here. A tight game seven at the polo grounds. Christy Mathewson still looks like he's got it. Chick Stahl will be the batter. And there's a strikeout for Mathewson. And now Hobie Ferris will come up. He's 0 for 2, but it looks like he lined out and struck out. And there's a fly ball to left field. Mertes will settle under it, make the catch. And now Duke Farrell will come up to bat. There's a triple. Maybe not. It's, it's a clean fly out as we go to the seventh inning stretch. Kid Gleason. Wow, a record of 61 errors was made by a well-known Detroit second baseman in 1901. Kid Gleason. <laughs> well, I hate to say this. If he made 61 errors in uh, today's baseball, actually, I'll be honest with you, I don't think he'd even. I don't think he'd make it to 30 errors in this in this year's in, in modern day baseball. I don't think he'd do it. I I kind of doubt it. But I guess you really never know, don't you? <laughs> uh, it, baseball's a great game, ain't it? Bottom of the seventh. The Giants and Americans tied at three. John Warner is the batter against Young. And that's going to be a beautiful single into center. Stahl will throw it in. And now we got the go-ahead run at first. And we're going to let uh, Matthew I'm going to let him bunt this one here. So let's see if he tries to bunt. And he bunts at it. It's perfect. Warner moves over to second. And we have one out with the runner in scoring position. Art Devlin will bat. He's at a double and a single. But let's have a look at him real quick. Art, uh, Art Devlin, good, very good, excellent speed, very good bunter, very and very good at running, very good. And uh, he's uh, he's got normal power against the lefties. A little weak against the righties, though. He batted 281. He had one home run. He had 66 RBIs for in the uh, 1904 for the uh, Giants. Let's see what Devlin does. And Devlin, it's a fly ball to left. Selbach will make the catch. And now it's up to Bill Dalen. Can he get the run in? Split card say yes! Yes! Dalen gives it a ride. Blasts it out of here. Home run, New York Giants. On a split card chance, he had a chance. He had to do a one and a two in order to get the in order to hit the home run. And it comes up a big one. So Bill Dalen, what a uh, Bill Dalen, what a what a game for him today. He's uh, he's done very well. He comes through. So it's now a five three Giants lead. Bottom of the seventh. Dan McGann is up, and this one's going to be another base hit for the Giants. So the inning it does not end yet. McGann goes to first. I'll let Bresnahan bat with the runner on, and this one is a strikeout. So. At the end of seven, it's the New York Giants five and the Boston Americans three. And we're top of the eighth. Christy Matthewson's got play in the tank. Let's see if he can go further. And there's a strikeout. Another strikeout for Matthewson. Kip Selbach will bat. Another, and this time Selbach swings and misses at strike three. And now Candy Lachance will come up. And Lachance gets a single. He'll go to first. And now Freddie Parent. Now, Freddie Parent is another one of those uh, interesting players. Batted 291, six home runs. Freddie Parent, he he's, wasn't too bad a player. Uh, not many people know of him. But since I've played a lot of classic baseball with Out of the Park, and now that I'm learning more about it from playing Stratomatic, okay, I'm beginning to know better of these, uh, these players here. And remember, you know, the dead ball, a lot of people have forgotten about the dead ball era, classic baseball, the days before Babe Ruth, Joe DiMaggio, Lou Gehrig, uh, Mickey Mantle, Willie Mays. You, gotta, you know, don't forget these players. They, they were the ones that put baseball on the map. Here's Parent. Parent, it's a, it's a fly ball to center field, and the play is made. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Cy Young still on the mound. 
Here's George Brown. And split cards come up a fly out to right field. And there's one down. It'll bring up Sam Mertes. And Young walks Mertes. So Mertes will go to first. That's a big insurance run out there. Billy Gilbert will come in. And let's see if we'll... Uh, what's his chance of... Let's see what he can do here. He can bunt. He can steal. And I think we'll go ahead and do a bunt here. And we'll let uh, Warner... So let's go ahead and do a bunt. It's a beautiful sack bunt. Mertes to second. And John Warner will have a chance to bring in a very big insurance run. Here's the pitch. And that's a ground out to Ferris. He'll throw it over to first. So we go to the top of the ninth inning. And now, so there are three outs away for the New York Giants to win the 1904 World Series. Christy Mathewson, uh, well, let's see. He's up there, but I think maybe he can get it. Let's have a look at the lineup. There's going to go against Freeman, Collins, and Stahl. So he's still going against some of the top players here. At the Polo Grounds, let's see what he does against uh, Freeman. And we need split card, and it's a lot. It's a ground out right to Matthewson. He'll toss it over to first. One down. Here's Jimmy Collins. Collins grounds out to Gilbert at second. He makes the play, throws to first. We got two down. So now Christy Matthewson goes up against Chick Stahl. And do the Giants win the World Series? They do fly ball center field. Bresnahan's under it, makes the catch, and the New York Giants will win the 1904 World Series. Take a look at the box score. The 1904 Boston Americans at 1904 New York Giants. And we see that Cy Young, he had five, gave up five runs on nine hits. Very un-Cy Young-like, I, I guess. Uh, he, had, he struck out two. Uh, Christy Mathewson had seven of them. Uh, the Giants left six men on base. The Americans left three. Dalen with the only home run in the game. A uh, couple of, let's see here. There were, uh, let's see, a couple, a couple of RBIs. The Giants were three for nine, so they were batted 333 with runners in scoring position. Uh, the Americans were one for five. Let's take a look here. I'm going to give, let's see, uh, Dan McGann was three for four for the Giants with an RBI. Bill Dalen, one for two, but that one hit was huge. Uh, that was a big home run. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and I'll give it to I'll I'll give the player of the game though to Christy to Christy Mathewson. I mean he gave up only three runs on five hits, struck out seven. One of the, and it really one of it was only one an earned run because if it wasn't for the if it if it wasn't for the uh, error in the first in, in the first inning which allowed the Americans to get the two runs, uh, I think that it might the game might not have been as close as it looked. So. Hey, everybody, I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, please leave a comment if you liked what you saw. 1905 baseball season will be coming up, so uh, I'll let you know what game I'll be playing from that. Until then, this is Robert here from South Florida signing off.